Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about this smart uh, terminal or oh my ZSH. It's like a software you can install on your terminal to make it more useful. Okay. I mean you can be using iTerm or the default terminal on the Mac. And if you wanted to make it more powerful then you can use it. Uh, I will just show you some examples like how we have made it more powerful. So make the IR, let's say app demo and I'm just going inside app demo and here I can just initialize this repository, right? And you can see this JIT develop. In the default terminal, you won't see this. And here I can just do all the different commands and PM init, let's say. I mean, these commands are not uh, from ZSH, but now let's say git status. I will just uh, commit this and then hit log and here let's say I wanted to push this so you can just create a ggp git push origin master right but origin is not set so ggl git put or uh, git pull origin from uh, current branch so there are some alias also you can create ggp ggl these are not a git command but what I did is I have created alias in oh my ZSS terminal. Let's first uh, see how you are doing installation. So you can just simply do it. I already have this installed. So I don't need to install it again. Okay, what I can just do using wget. What is the issue? SSL connect connection reset by peer connection. Am I not connected to Wi Fi? Okay, strange. I will check what is this. So, here you can install these by both the, the modes. Okay, now if I look into the documentation, how we are going to work with that, right? So, simply installation, wget, or you can just do fetch also. Let me try to do it this way. Which is not found. It's a strange. Now if I what, what if I do wget? Okay, let me switch to my terminal. I mean all these command you have to install. I think curl command is there. And you can see this ZSH folder is already exist. So this is my installation directory and here I am, I am keep we are keeping almost everything about like all the themes here you can see cache themes and uh, your profile I can just try to check this file and here you can see I mean uh, this is a script which gets loaded which is helping us to execute everything right OS type so this is a script and the main configuration file lies in zshrc like for the bash script there is a bash rc similarly this is a zshrc and here you can create alias so this is the main zshrc file which contains even it has some code to load my nvm node version manager which is written i think here you can see uh, if you want to create some mm -hmm. alias you can do it like uh, alias and ls so this is the command simple l command i am creating and it is going to give me this is what it is going to execute okay i will just go inside the insert mode save it and now let's see if i am doing l right simply this is how you create alias sometimes you can create alias for doing lots of things even like for the docker commands docker containers docker images all these we can create uh, alias for that so here i can create alias again so docker container dc ps minus a uh, what are the command docker ps minus a 
I am not aware. I may need to check if this command is right. Docker container, Docker images. Okay, I can just see, say Docker images. Then save it. Okay, we need to execute the command DC. It's executing that command. So here you can see my Docker is not running right now, so it will block that command. But like GZL. So GGL, GGP, Git full origin master, GGP, we don't need to push it, but this Git full origin master and Git push origin master, these alias you can create like simply L, small L, right? These are the alias we have created in the ZSHRC. So there are many ways, uh, one of the command will work, I mean either you can install this brew, Curl, uh, I mean these are the Mac packages in the brew package manager, fetch, wget and curl, curl works for me and I can just check my version, zsh version, that gives me a glimpse, okay, I'm using 5.8 and you can install the plugin, the, this is the plugin overview, I mean you can install the themes and all, so these plugins will enable uh, your development for all these tools, like okay, you might be writing a different, different programming languages, and here if you talk about the themes you can install the themes whatever you like and these themes will beautify how you see on the git like let's say you can see these different colors right all these things are coming because you are using our uh, default it is using this ruby ruby shell i mean if you wanted to switch to a different theme then uh, you can do it you need to install the theme for that okay let me just see this agnostor right this i mean i always like this theme and how you want to do it is this ls minus a official repository this is how you can install it this should be some instructions how we are doing it so this is using power line so here you will just get all these uh, arrow symbols Whenever you are in some particular directory, you can install this particular theme or you can just get the other themes from these repositories. So which theme you like? I mean, uh, I'm just checking. I mean, there are many themes. I don't like this. And my default themes really works fine. I'm just checking. Is there any new theme which I can install this cloud? And we need to see we need to see how we need to install this and these are some chat sheets like uh, this is how we can create alias right alias you can create you can just list down all the alias whatever is there on this so these are the alias we already have which are already defined by uh, ZSH, uh, like um, I was using all these different alias. These are like in the global configuration, ZGL should be there somewhere. All these are much of the git commands you can see. These are the default alias we have. Create a new directory, take ZSH status, uh, get the list of top 20 commands. Okay, these are the top 20 commands which I was executing. What else we can look for uh, ZSH? Okay, these are the different themes you have which you can install. This is a chat sheet. Themes, plugins, I mean, you, you can just install by going to their repositories and there are instructions how to install a particular theme or a plugin. You can extend it or I mean, the, 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 the new theme are just making it more beautiful if you want. 
like these are the different themes which you see ruby shell this is the default one af magic right there should be a github page for some of these themes which i was just checking like there is a repository for this right this is how additional setup you need to do you need to install the power line for phone because not each and every theme comes with this otherwise you will just get something like this these characters right so what does it shows that you don't have a particular font and you need to install the font after installing the font you will see the proper uh, images and proper icons this is the agnostor theme so what are the advantages of using zsh over the other terminals and all because it is making your work beautiful i mean i whenever you are on different branch let's say if i'm just uh, creating a different branch here okay i will just go to my repositories and here you can check out minus b feet new vlog right so whenever you are going you know on which current branch you are at so there are lots of advantage of using this you know what is your current branch is there any uh, pending files which you need to commit i think it changes its colors like uh, whenever there is a pending file which you need to commit and all all those things are really helpful when you are using this kind of a terminal so i have installed this oh my jsh on the uh, iterm iterm is also terminal i'm just trying to make it more beautiful with the help of jsh okay that's all about it this is like a hack or a tool which you can add for your development setup